Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Hey, Steve. Got to get the film off the lens here. That better. Ha ha, 2021 NRB North River Boats. Uh, the last two digits is 25242B12121. It's year 2021. You're going to fill her up to the brim for Steve, anything. You got the rear deck light, you got your rocket launchers. You got your net holders, you got like uh, three cleats, heavy duty cleats on the side of this bad boy. They're gonna look at them South Baylors. Whoa, the real McCoy. I think you're a big, big boater here, man, like a ship. And then you got re a heavy reverse. And I think these are 20 in the rear. 20 in the rear, and I can't remember if it's 40 to 42 on the degree hole. It's got 150s, you got a left and a right. This is a left hand uh, rotation right here. This is a right hand rotation here, stainless steel. They're 15 pitch, 14, and uh, it doesn't really matter what these are. 14 3 8 by 15s, uh, anywhere in that 14 range, that should be perfect. These are, uh, that's a left hand, right hand rotation. They're inline four cylinders. You got zincs on each cylinder. You got a zinc on the block. You got zinc here. You got zinc bars down there. You got zinc bars over here. And it looks like he's got the X51 on the Garmin transducer. Uh, no damage to the back. You got two coats of primer, two coats of clear, special paint. Uh, total salt water protected. You got your freshwater flush right there and there. And if you put, use those, do not start the motor unless you've got an issue with water flow at the house. Then you want to put earmuffs or flushes there in there. Make a Y and then turn the water on full blast. This is a 99 high thrust remote power tilt trim up front. Them are gas vents, 11 by seven. Same thing on the zincs on this, but this is a two twin cylinder. But you got the remote rear deck steer, rear entry door, which is right back over here. Dive ladder, two step, twin tabs. I think they're, uh, got what brand those were on those electro tabs. And there's your rear deck, kicker motor remote. And then you go over here, you got the heavy duty, uh, the heavy, heavy duty tandem axle trailer. These got the big boy wheels. You got four by four with slicks on the bunks. Tilt, those are good. You got gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad. White would be like that, and you don't want to see that. And these are Carlisle's, they're six lugs. Discs on all four. Yeah, I got the rub rails, three all the way up. So, I mean, it's pretty good protection coming in if you have to, hot. ST235 uh, ADR16s, which these are the big, big wheels. So, yeah, this trailer is more than adequate for this boat. Slider windows, I'll close that when I get in it. You got your keel guide right there. Uh, you got the propylene uh, roller instead of the black rubber that scratches. You got like a reverse that starts here all the way back that's what keeps this boat real stable got an anchor pulpit you got an anchor roller anchor box big cleat you got your garmin phantom which are excellent radars and i'm gonna have them move that horn up there steve i mean holy cow who listens to the side we need to get that pointed towards the front i've got the trumpet horn it looks like the gmx 18 on the gps antenna that's got autopilot you got uh, electric brakes, so on your truck, your actuator will work. Uh, need a little clip for that so you can clip. That's your safety, so if it comes disengaged. You got the top mount welded on uh, coupler. Uh, that means it's probably 20, 22 inches from the bottom to the top of the ball. You got the flat flip with the pin, which is the good ones. The foot jack, which is good. Two-speed jack there. The nice nylon uh, strap. You got the round seven. Heavy, heavy duty safety chains with shackles. And uh, like I say, I'm filling her up with gas, so I might as well do this walk around now. And then I'll do one about all the electronics and the autopilot. Uh, yeah, we already got 80 some gallons. Pop that. And we're gonna climb on in, if I can make it. See how we're gonna do this. There we go. Grab this, grab this. Rear entry door makes it nice. And I'll see if they silicone that or not. Because that there, they should silicone when they pop, pop that down. That's your South Baylor, which they did a good job on that. Instead of 
having like an upset this goes down into a trough and then it's got big gates so the water goes out easy and you got steering back here you got your kicker right there which this is kind of cool that they did this uh, so they just started this okay that there is for like if you want to tie down your ice chest you can use those that's a neat fuel tanks right there here's your battery switches I don't know half station half station house we want to turn this on turn this on turn all these on turn that on and then you got your microns you got two of those uh, and then down in here's your like your shut off valve uh, right there should be a valve yeah right there that needs to be open so I'll open that one up and there's your wash down hose right there you must have a switch up front on that one. Oh, it's on the rear helm So then that's that. So then over here, spare, spare, bilge pump, courtesy lights. Yeah, they're up underneath. You can see that tent. The board's down. I just heard it. This should trim the kicker. Nice seats. I like the color, the way these are. Got his autopilot here. Yamaha. Oh, like a little GPS gauge. That's kind of cool. And he's got his garment up there. That must be for his lights up front. Yep, I can see him. You can see on the roof over there. Uh, got a horn, works good there. You got your Bimini control there, your USB port. Yep, right there. Horn works key, trim tabs. They're on. Trim, trim, that works. Is it still pumping gas? Yeah, 118 gallons. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice looking gauge. And then I got to set all this up. That's your autopilot. There's touch up paint. Oh, you need this. Good thing I looked in there. There's your, oh, it just shut off. This is lockable. And then up into here. I'll have to get up into there. There's a panel we need to get to to show you. And nav lights. Jeez, I need my glasses. That's terrible, isn't it? Quarter lights, deck lights. That's bilge pump. Wiper. Wiper. That's spare. Okay, that looks good. Twin motors. Yeah, I like that. Troll off. I'll have to check this out. So this is all digital. Trip information. Huh. That's pretty cool. Miles an hour trip. Huh. I'll have to play with that when I'm out there. Okay. So anyway, you got storage up underneath here. There's his downrigger swivels there. And we'll go back here. How many minutes are we on? Oh. Eight minutes. Hey, we got plenty of time. And then we lift this up. And then this here, oh, better tighten that up. Oh, there we go. There, we don't want water. Now, sometimes I fill this, I take this plug out and I fill this full of water for extra weight when it gets rough out there. There's his hydraulic for his autopilot. That's a good place to put that. You got your light there. Got your anchor light there, so all that stuff works. So then the other video will be how it runs and all the electronics. So I'm gonna shut all that stuff off. Then up underneath here. That should just be a build. 
and that sound deadening tape right there you got a plug in there to undo if you want to drain the water off and see what's here yep more storage same thing up into here too and I think you got to build right right there let's see yeah just more stringers there you go yeah he's gonna like this but and you got your foot rest right here. Got one there. You got your tilt backs. You got your slider. Height adjustment. Okay. I'm gonna turn the key off. And we're gonna go to the water.